Okay, here we are, uh, Griswold EF and G series pumps. We're going to be uh, showing you how to put a mechanical seal into it. Uh, the EF and G series pumps use either the JM or JP frame motors, and we'll be installing a John Crane Type 21 component seal. Okay, what we have is a JM motor. I've already cleaned the shaft, I prepped the uh, keyway. The next thing I want to do is add a few things to the shaft to make it easier for the build. We got two O-rings going to go on. That's going to go behind the sleeve that I put the seal on. I'll put a little lube on that so the sleeve fits over. Fairly easy. The next thing I do is come over and get the bracket. Make sure the bracket is clean inside where the seal seat goes into. Pretty important. Next thing is I take the seal out of the box. This is the seal seat. And this is the white part to the face up. This is the seal and spring assembly. That's going to go around the sleeve, which is right here. And it has this uh, place where the O rings are going to slip down into it from the shaft. We're going to stick that right there. Okay, first things we're going to loop this seal. I'm trying to be very careful not to touch the face of the seal. You can touch it, but after it's installed, you can push it down with your thumbs. We have a, a tool that we use so that uh, it goes nice and straight and we don't touch the seal as much. And it'll fit pretty flush. If you do uh, touch the seal face, I like to use an alcohol prep, especially if you're in the field and you got dirty hands and uh, the like there, and you just go over to the top of the seal. And that'll take care of that. The next thing I do is I want to mount this on the pump itself. Four bolts. You got to be real careful. Slide this over the sh over the shaft, not to bump that uh, ceramic seat. You want to get this fairly snug at the so it stays straight. You have room for adjustment after you get the case case on. Okay, once you get that set, you want to face that keyway, face it straight up so it's easier to uh, align everything. And again, come back over here to the seat. You pop the little uh, seat face off. Leave the spring and the flat part in there. And get a little more lube. And I like to put just a little bit on the lip here and then some on the outside of the sleeve then you put it on the, on the rubber on the seal itself then you slide it right over top of the sleeve and be real careful because they're easy to break once you get that through there, push it through a little bit. Get a rag. Make sure it's nice and clean at the seal face. And you want to push it through so that it sticks up above the sleeve. And then make sure it's nice and clean. Use that uh, alcohol stuff again. The reason you want that clean, if you have oil on that seal, when you fire it up, it could burn the seal and cause a leak. You put the spring back on. Make sure that you have just a little bit of sleeve showing. So that when you put the key on, it, this uh, thing doesn't slide over. We install it. You want to give yourself just a little bit of keyway. Let me 
get our uh, our bolt and our uh, washer together with a little bit of Loctite on the thread so it doesn't back off. Get our our impeller. And our key. You take your key, put it inside so that the key just comes up just above the uh, the lip of the impeller. Then we set it all together. And with one motion, this this here uh, stainless uh, piece of metal, you don't want that to drop between the impeller and the sleeve itself, or else you'll, your run out will be bad. So you want to do one quick motion until back in here, you'll see that the um, sleeve fits right over those uh, O-rings you put in earlier. Then on, make sure your key's in. And you put your impeller bolt and then get your impact. And that should do it. You should have a nice easy spin on it. Now we can uh, check our run out, set this up, set it to zero. And we have a maximum of s seven that we can go, seven thousand. We're right at seven. So that would be good to go. Good? You want more? You want more?